Hey YouTube, uh, this is my video review of this new pizza um, I found in the supermarket in Sainsbury's the other day. Um, this is the Dr. Erka brand uh, Panibello. Uh, this is uh, a, a, a supposedly a new um, line of pizzas. I don't know how new it is, if it's been a few months old, six months old, or anything like that. But um, yeah, I've seen, I just sort of spotted them in the supermarket. Uh, I'm going to be doing the, um, this is the uh, Pomodoro Mozzarella, um, excuse me if I've not pronounced it right, I um, don't speak any Italian so that doesn't mean a lot to me, but this is basically uh, um, cheese and tomato pizza, so yeah, it's a pretty standard, standard pizza, um, nothing, you know, exciting going on with the, the toppings. Uh, what I what thought more was exciting about this pizza was this whole deep bakery crust pizza. You see, you've got your fresh bread rolls and things like that. This is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. So I think mainly here, I mean, the toppings may be not exciting, but I think the, the main crust and the main base of the pizza is saying here something a little bit different. Um, so I was quite interested to, to taste it and see what it's actually like. Uh, this... Dr. Erka, I think I pronounced that right, if I haven't, correct me in the comments section, is a massive, massive worldwide brand, wherever you go, um, they, they, there's frozen things, they do chill things, I believe, they do everything from pizzas to God knows what, pastas and all sorts, all around the world, um, they normally, in the UK they normally do, and I think the US as well, they normally, and probably all of Europe, um, probably, they do the Restaurante range pizzas, um, which I don't think I've had, had before, but I've seen reviewed, and the mixed reviews. So I don't, I, I've, I don't think I'm probably going to ever review one. But um, this was um, in Sainsbury's, say supermarket over in the UK. Um, normal price three pounds uh, on offer at one pound fifty. Um, but what basically what made me get to try it is I had a flyer or a, uh, a voucher posted through my door. Um, half price. So I thought, okay, let's try it, see what I like. I, th I thought it was going to, I was going to get a half price, half the one pound fifty for for seventy five p. But when I got to the checkout, it knocked all of it off. So this is a free pizza. So that's good. I mean, reviewing it as a free pizza, it's always going to get a five star rating. What I'm going to do, I'm going to review it as I've gone into the supermarket, reviewed it for, I bought it for three pounds, and let's see what it's like then. Three pounds for a frozen pizza is, in the UK anyways, it's started to get onto the sort of premium range brand anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, enough babbling. This is this is this is the box. Uh, I like the box. the The box makes I think the pizza looks that pizza looks really really good. I like the you know the fresh bakery, the bed bread rolls around the edge of it. It lo it looks really good. I mean, this is deliciously topped with mozzarella, tomatoes, and basil. That all sounds very good. Got the side there. This box is this was the last one in the supermarket. As you can see, the box is really been battered, it's left in the freezer. Um, it's, you know, the other range they do. Um, I can't quite see what else they do. They do sort of like uh, the Hawaiian version, uh, yeah. I think that's the only one that when they do, but this was all they had left in the whole supermarket. Um, quite easy cook instructions, bang it in the oven. Um, for 15-20 uh, minutes. What I did notice it was slightly the higher cooking temperature, 220. The pizza is normally sort of 180 to 200. This is slightly higher, so maybe that's the crust. I don't know. And you've got your nutritional value, uh, 410 grams. So it's not the biggest pizza you're going to get in the world. Um, it's not a one of the, the sort of ones that go into the 500 gram um, sort of size pizzas, but uh, yeah, this is uh, experience our unique bakery crust pizza, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, tops with delicious mozzarella, tars, tomatoes, and basils. But yeah, that's so that's just the box. But all you, what you're waiting to see is the finished article, and here it is. When I got it out the uh, out the packet, um, I've had it for about a month now. It's been in the freezer. Um, it didn't look that good. Uh, when I first got it out, the, I mean, frozen pieces, obviously, they never do, they never don't look very appetising, but I must admit, this has, you know, gone up in my estimation straight away as soon as I put it in the oven. It, it looks really nice, it smells really good, cooked really nice, the cooking instructions were bang on, yet the oven needs to be a little bit higher, a little bit burnt around the corner there, but, you know, deal with that, deal with that. 
but yeah, what I'm really looking forward to is uh, actually is actually trying it. There you go. See if it is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Say so the toppings are exciting for me. It's just a bit of cheese and a bit of tomato, but we will see how it gets on. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to set you down, take a few bites, and I'll let you know if it's any good. Uh, so uh, here's the box. Welcome back. You can see, I've just taken a few bites out of that. Um, got a bit of the crust, um, a fair bit of the topping. There's a bit of, better view of it in there. Right, straight away, what you get, the crust is really good. Um, the base is really nice, and they have pulled off that crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, as the box states. They, they pulled that off really well. Um, I don't know if because the topping is slightly, I don't know, on the bland side, I normally like a you know a bit of pepperoni or ham or something on the on the topping, but it doesn't seem to me like they've paid much attention to what's on the pizza. They've basically put all their efforts into the crust, which yeah is really good if you've got a good topping. Um, and 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 here it it doesn't seem like they have. Um, it's it's still it's still a nice pizza. Um, uh, I, it's still one of the, the better frozen pizzas it's, it's still got a nice taste to it you can taste that sort of crispy crust on the outside softer on the inside yeah brilliant but it's just there's not a lot going on on the top side I mean I don't know but you don't get that sort of cheesy taste to that pizza if it's just a cheese and tomato pizza, which it basically is, you, it needs to be, you need to get that overwhelming taste of cheese when you bite into it, I think. And they haven't really pulled off uh, pulled off that. But it'd be interesting to try a different topping on this base, because I think that could be really good. I think if you had a pepperoni or a ham or something like that, or meat feast or whatever, I don't know, I think this could be a really, really good pizza. But for 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 three pounds, um, if it was in the supermarket, would I would I buy this version again? Probably not. If it was an offer at one fifty, yes, I probably would buy it again. But as I said, I'm going to be reviewing it as it was not an offer, and as it was the the usual three pound in the supermarket, I would probably give that a three star rating. What lets it down is the topping. Obviously I got this for free so I'm pleased. I'm happy. It's a free meal. Yeah, it's all good. But if it was only if it was three quid in the supermarket, yeah. It's just one of those pizzas that, you know, meh, yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's not too good. But uh, no I'm um, quite interested to try if they do any more, if they, you know, um increase the range or any anything like that. I don't know. But yeah, three star rating is good. I'm going to enjoy to finish the rest of this pizza. All good. Yeah, so that's the uh, Panabello dot from Dr. Erka, three stars. Um, I just before I go, I've got to give a quick shout out to um, a new new a new YouTube channel out there who's doing a lot of the UK stuff similar to what I do. What I do. Uh, if you uh, search for uh, Sean Wilkinson, um, it's a really good channel. He's uh, doing all say um, all the uh, the UK stuff. Um, it's still similar to what I do. So if you uh, like my my, my channel and uh, we watch my videos, you'll definitely like him. And uh, he's, he's a good guy. Um, he seems to have some good opinions on some uh, some of the um, super, sort of like supermarket food out there. Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely hit him up. I um, mean, he's doing a lot of videos at the moment. He's doing a lot more than I am, to be honest. He's doing sort of three or four a week. So if you like your um, you know, your almost a daily fix of uh, UK food reviews. Uh, yeah, uh, check him out. He's really good. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Uh, that's the Dr. Erka Panabello Deep Crust 
pizza and I've given that a three star rating. I'll see you later.